Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 136. That is explain about usability testing. Let me answer. Testing how easy or friendly the application is for the users to use is nothing but usability testing. So what is the advantage of performing the usability testing and why we have to test whether the application is easy or friendly to use? So the advantage of performing the usability testing is we can identify the functionalities in the software application where the user gets struck. Okay, what are the difficulties being faced by the users while using the application? Okay, are there any difficult functionalities in the application which are causing the users to get confused or users to get struck while using the application? We can identify. That's what is the advantage, guys. Okay, so there is a checklist I have prepared here. Okay, so let's go through the checklist. Okay, list of different items that we will be generally testing as part of usability testing. Okay, so this is a checklist that generally while performing the usability testing, we have to perform checking on the application. Okay, first thing is text present on application should be easy to understand. Okay, so if you go to any application, let's say let's go to this sample application. You see the, uh, there will be a lot of text, right? Uh, if I take you to this login page, you see there's some text here. Are you able to understand this text? Is this part, uh, particular text written in an easy language or not? Are any complex terminologies used in this uh, text? We have to identify that, okay? Uh, not only this particular text, any text, the text that you see on the buttons or the label text or heading text, all the text that is there on this application should be easy to understand, okay? It should not be complex. The complex terminology should not be used. Uh, instead, the text present or shown on the application pages should be easy to understand. Uh, the user should not uh, go and search on Google to find the meaning of such kind of words written on the application. Rather, it would be better if the, the terminology used uh, is easy to understand directly by the users, okay? So then next one, next uh, item that we generally check as part of usability testing is, users should be able to find and access the components whenever required. Okay, so for example, if you go to this application, okay, let's say you went to this application and you want to search for a product and if you are not able to uh, find the search box field, that's a problem. Okay, so it should be easy for the users to find the functionalities, whatever they actually need. Okay, suppose in at this situation, I want to search for a product, but if I'm uh, because of the design or whatever that is, okay, because of the way the application has been developed or the poor design or UX, user experience is there because of that if I'm not able to find this search box field that is a problem okay so users should be able to easily find the required functionalities okay for example the users want to go to cart how to go there okay they should find some functionalities okay it should be very easy for the users to guess where the functionalities will be there and uh, should be accessible and all okay so that's what we are going to test uh, next okay there's another checking users should be able to find and access the components whenever required okay it should be easy to find the required at any uh, point of time the required uh, functionalities uh, that are the functionalities that are required for the user to perform some operation right should be able to easily guess and find them and should be able to access them okay that's what is another checklist the next one users should be able to understand the purpose of using the software if i'm using the software i don't know what is the purpose okay despite of using all this functionality of the software if the user is not getting a purpose of using it, okay? So uh, why we generally use uh, this kind of applications to purchase something online, it is an e-commerce application. Anyone can understand by looking at this application, anyone can understand that it's an e-commerce e application that different products are being sold by different sellers and uh, uh, we can purchase them online. As an end users, we can purchase these products online, okay? So if you are not getting some that sort of purpose by looking at this application or while using the application, there's some problem with the usability that we have to report, okay? So this is the third check. Then we have another item in the checklist that is proper help messages should be displayed wherever required. Okay, the proper help messages should be displayed. So these help messages will make the job of the users easy. Okay, while using the application, users should not get struck or confused on what to do next. Okay, but with the help of the help messages, we are making their journey easy or user friendly. Okay, to use the application. So a few examples I'm going to give you is uh, the first one is a placeholder guys placeholders inside the form fields. If I take you to this uh, register page, you see there are a lot of fields here in the register account. So uh, here label is there, but despite of the label, you see in the inside the text box field in a gray out format, you see the first name first name text is there. Okay, this this is placeholder. 
whatever the text that you see inside the text box field by default. But when you start typing, the placeholder text will go. Okay, here if I want to type my name Arun, okay, like this. Okay, the placeholder text is going. But if I remove that again, the this is a help helper text. Okay, so we are helping as much as possible to make the usage of the end users. Okay, some people may think that what is the use of placeholder, but uh, there may be some people uh, who need to be educated that uh, your first name should be entered in this field. Okay, you have to enter the first name in this field. To make that possible, we have to add this placeholder, which is a helper text indirectly. And uh, now not only the placeholder text uh, in the form fields, but also proper warning message should be displayed when user mis makes a mistake. For example, guys, if the user is making any mistake here, uh, like uh, the user is entering uh, some email address and uh, unexpectedly user has entered a wrong password, okay? So uh, user thought that it is a correct only, but uh, when he entered, but he ultimately, he or she ultimately entered a wrong password and click on the login button, a proper warning message is coming, okay? This warning message is helping the user in understanding that, okay? The user has provided some wrong email address or password here, okay? So that kind of uh, proper warning message should be there wherever required so that uh, uh, user should understand what is the mistake they have done, okay? That warning message will point out the mistakes made by the user and correct them in providing the proper details or using in a proper way, okay? Using the application in a proper way. Then tool tips are provided wherever required and uh, and and we have to check whether these tool tips are really helpful for the user or not, okay? We should uh, we should see whether the application is providing the tool tips wherever required and on the top of that, are these tool tips really helping the user in using the application? In making the application easy to use for the user or not, we have to check. For example, guys, if I take you to this uh, homepage or something, you see there are some products displayed here and you see add to cart is explained here, okay? The add to cart icon is there and beside the text is there, but what about these symbols? Uh, some uh, love symbol is there and uh, some uh, uh, different direction arrow symbols are there okay these symbols uh, if i don't uh, if the if if the if we don't provide the tool tip here can anyone understand what is this symbol all about no right here you see add to wish list now users can understand okay if i select this option this item will be added to my wish list okay and if I, the users hover the mouse on this uh, uh, this uh, uh, two directional arrows okay which is going in different direction you see compare this product is coming that means this this option will help the user in comparing this product with other product like that users can understand tool tips should be there wherever required and also they should be useful for the users they should guide the users properly they should make the they should explain the functionality of the application to the end users to make their uh, usage of the application easy okay that's what this kind of uh, proper help messages should be there uh, displayed wherever required, like placeholders, proper warning, tool tips, and many other things will be there, guys. Uh, these are the important ones, okay? Then, look and feel of the application should make the user comfortable in using the application. When you use an application, it should feel good, okay? The user should not get confused by look and feel, okay? So, you see, this application looks good, well good, right? If I go to the login page, I can see, uh, you see, if I want I want to log in, and if, if I don't have the credentials to log in, I can create an account, okay? The application is the layout and uh, look and feel of this application is very good. Okay, so like that, it should be look and feel of the application should make the user comfortable in using the application. It should not disturb the user. Okay, you should not get confused because of the look and feel. So is the design okay? Uh, all these things we are going to check as part of this uh, checklist item. That is, is design neat? Okay, is a uh, whatever the design that is uh, done for this login page is neat or not? Okay, it looks good or not? Okay, that's on one check. Is it clean or not? Neat and clean, both are same, right? Clean. It should not be. It should not be clutter. Okay, cluttery kind of thing. Lot of information provided in a single page, which should confuse the users. Okay, so the users should not feel that fry. Should not get frightened up by seeing lot of functionalities in a single page. Okay, should be simple, neat, clean. Okay, kind of without any clutter, should be clean, consistent, guys. Okay, you say design should be consistent. If whether you go to the login page or whether you go to register page or any other page on this application, you will see the similarities. Okay, you will see. Uh, the same breadcrumb is there in the register account page. You see the breadcrumb for navigation is also there in the login page. Breadcrumb also adds the navigation point of view in case of user friendliness, okay? Usability uh, testing point of view, the breadcrumbs should be there, okay? That's, that can be another uh, checklist you can add here, guys, okay? So uh, proper, uh, I can add like this, proper breadcrumbs are provided, okay? Breadcrumbs help you in navigating better. For example, here, uh, if I go to any uh, any other page, uh, like forgot password page, and if I want to come uh, come back to the home page, if I click on this, am I getting back or not? Navigation. Okay? 
so proper navigation so breadcrumbs support the proper navigation right okay whatever that you are seeing here on the pages okay this part is a breadcrumb and will, will help in navigating easily through other pages okay so you not uh, a user should not get confused like how to go to the home page from this page okay so with the help of the breadcrumb the user will click on the that uh, home home icon on the breadcrumb and should be taken to the home page that's fine so then uh, uh, consistent is what i talked about look and feel and pleasant it should be pleasant okay so it should not be disturbing the the visuals or ui or ux of this particular pages should be pleasant it should users should feel cool and uh, they should uh, feel like uh, they they have they want to use application okay they want to use application more such kind of pleasantness should be there all this uh, things should be uh, tested okay so at least to be tried to make the application reach that level so that users will like it okay so that's what is a usability testing guys okay so navigation to every component of the application should be easy on the top of this look and feel navigation should be easy guys okay for example the user want to purchase some product the user should not get confused anywhere or stuck anywhere uh, user uh, to to purchase or place an order from this website the the user has to go through many functionalities right for example here the user first has to um, log in okay so whether the user is able to log in or not let's see so after login to the application user is taken to this page and here the next item that uh, user thinks to purchase an item is after logging in the user thinks that okay uh, i need to search for a product okay so user is able to search after searching the product search results are coming okay search results page is connected now and uh, user want to uh, check the details of this product so user will click on this option and will be taken to the product display page this is a product display page user went there after that user want to take different decisions okay whether user want to purchase right now or uh, you know right uh, add to the wish list okay want to purchase it later or compare this product with uh, any other product the all functionalities are interconnected and wherever necessary the navigations are properly provided details and all those things are properly provided if user says add to cart and uh, user doesn't know what to do next now okay you see a proper message is coming highlighting message is coming saying that successfully i have added to your shopping cart and link is there so user is hinted indirectly that you can go to shopping cart okay you see that's how we have to make the journey of the user um, it user friendly or it, we have to make the application easy for the user to use okay after going here you see um, update numbers and all you see our proper tool tips are there wherever necessary and a uh, uh, lot of functionalities are there here which are supporting the user uh, in placing an order okay so all the simple thing is that navigation to every component of the application should be easy the next step should be fine after after adding the item to cart if the user doesn't know what to do next that's a that's a that's a, that's a problem right users should know that they have to go to the shopping cart after play, after adding the item to the cart users should know that they should uh, go to the shopping cart okay so an example i gave you already just now so navigation part should be easy and uh, should be driving the user in using the application to do the activities that the user generally want to perform then uh then uh, as part of uh, usability testing checklist guys there is one more item that is can we make anything more easier user friendly if you uh, come across an uh, functional application functionality where you feel like okay where as an end user you uh, as as a test, uh, as an end user if you uh, be uh, you will be a tester but if you have to be in the shoes of the end user and see that this functionality can be more easier can be made more easier user friendly for the user like that if you think you may get some ideas right uh, suggestions that you can give to make this application more user friendly for the user an example i'll give you guys okay there may be some situation where for example uh, let's say there is a net banking software so you see in a uh, if uh, you already know that in, in any bank account okay in a bank account for example just give me a second so let's say there is a you opened a bank account uh, the bank may provide you one account single account or you can have you can hold multiple accounts in the same bank okay and i am taking a vague example here multiple accounts okay single accounts or multiple accounts in the same bank single account or multiple accounts so let's uh, let's talk about the multiple account uh, what the this is net banking nbi i am writing net banking software so what this uh, net banking software people have done is uh, for the people who have multiple accounts they have provided a drop down field they have provided drop down field from where the user can uh, select this drop down field and uh, all the list of accounts multiple accounts the user is holding in this particular bank will be displayed here and uh, on which account the user want to perform operation that 
account will be selected by the users and can do the operation this is fine for the multiple accounts but what if for single account user also if a particular um, account holder is having only one account in this uh, bank and still a drop down field is shown is it really required there's no problem in having a drop down field because only one option when the, the single account holder also selects this drop down field only one account account number will be displayed and still the single account user can select it but the problem here is is it really required okay can we avoid it can we avoid it or remove it for the user who is having only the account holder is only having single account by directly displaying the account details here without uh, asking the user to select an account number from the user such kind of thinking need to be done because if this is really done for multiple accounts definitely the drop down field is required but for single account user is drop down really required not required if you remove that that will make the that will increase or improve the easiness of using the application so such kind of things also can be checked as part of usability testing can we, uh, every functionality we have to ask a question can we make the make this functionality even more easy or user friendly than that is currently right now if there is a scope or possibility as i explained in this example then we can suggest that as part of usability testing we can suggest that okay and a lot of other things other checklist will be there guys for usability testing for performing usability testing so you should not see too much white uh, white spaces okay so again look and feel will go bad if you use too much white spaces logo should uh, is logo taking to the home page or not for example every application will have a logo uh you see uh, i'm on some page if i click on the logo i should uh, i should be taken to the home page okay so navigation wise uh, the logo should be taken to the home page so that also can be checked and uh, proper breadcrumbs are provided i just now showed you right uh, what are breadcrumbs and all for every page uh, there will be a breadcrumb no matter where you are for example if you go to my account and if you want you see this is a breadcrumb if you go to edit account information if i want to go to account page i can click on that and come back okay the navigation wise breadcrumb will help you to go wherever you are even though you are on, on any page uh, directly uh, you can go to the required either from from this edit account information page you can either go to account page or home page also okay? up to you it makes more easy navigation more easy and user friendly okay and many more things are there possible guys okay so you usability testing can be done even more in a detailed manner these are the important ones whatever the checklist i covered right in this session is a important one so with this guys uh, hope you got an idea of what exactly is usability testing okay testing how easy or friendly the application is uh, for the users to use okay with an intention of identifying the functionalities in the software application which are making the okay usage of the application difficult for the users okay because of the difficulties users may get struck or confused while using the application removing such kind of difficulties and making the application more easy and user friendly to use is nothing but usability testing and this is example checklist so hope guys you got the answer for this question now that's all for this session in the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye